This is a microscope to smartphone adapter. It's created by OpenOcular and is 3D printed entirely. So this is something that you can actually go on openocular.com and download yourself. But in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up everything so that you can get started with your microscope adapter right away. So like I said, this adapter will connect and align any smartphone camera to your eyepiece, whether that's a telescope or a microscope. And the way that it works is you have this smartphone clamp that's right here and this will tighten onto your uh, smartphone and uh, this knob here is going to be your x adjustment so that'll adjust in this direction so that you can align your adapter to the camera itself now this knob here is going to be your eyepiece clamp and that's going to clamp onto your eyepiece and tighten it so if you have an eyepiece that's really big up to 50 millimeters you'll be able to clamp it here and then if you have a very small eyepiece, such as one that's 15 millimeters, you can clamp it all the way down to that size as well. Now, before I really begin, I, I always try to have this open so that I can clamp onto it and have this area just open all the way. This knob here is your Z and uh, it will adjust the distance between where your adapter clamps onto the eyepiece and the distance to the uh, camera itself. And so you can set the eye relief at the perfect distance. And I start by holding the smartphone in one hand with the cameras facing me and then just kind of place the adapter on top and just kind of tightening it to a certain degree. But this is gonna be adjusted in a little bit because remember the Z or excuse me, the Y axis, it's gonna move along the edge of the smartphone. Now over here, we can start by adjusting the X axis so we'll just turn this knob here and move it so that we can see the uh, cameras are within that slot. Now this placement here is already pretty good. The camera is pretty much in the center there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this all the way down. Um, but if I needed to adjust it, I would just loosen this, move it along the clamp, and then just re-tighten it. Now with everything somewhat in place, we'll make some adjustments once everything is connected. I'm gonna turn on the camera and that's to just make sure that I can see that um, everything is gonna line up the way that I need it to. Now I can see that I'll still need to move the Y a little bit to get this centered. So I'll do that here. And then uh, from here, I want to make sure that the eye relief is good. So I'm gonna turn this Z knob here and uh, I can see that I actually need to move the adapter just a little bit more. If you need to place this further along the eyepiece, make sure to do that as well, which is the case here. I kind of just needed to move the adapter a little bit further down on the eyepiece. At this point, I have already a beautiful image. I can use my phone to zoom in further. I can then take photos and video, of course, and, and that's pretty much it. The setup is really straightforward. It's meant to be as intuitive as can be. Uh, like I said before, this adapter is fully available for free download. If you visit openocular.com, you can just download it. No need to sign up or anything. If you have any questions or any design requests, let me know. The best part about this design is that it can be updated at any time and just re-sent out. So any kind of changes are definitely possible. Just let me know. And that might be something that we can incorporate in the next version. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.